Hello, I'm uh, Amelia Yassin from the German University in Cairo. And on behalf of my esteemed co-authors, I will present our work on investigating the effect of uh, partners' avatar gender on collaboration quality in virtual reality. Related work showed that the avatar appearance influenced the behavior in the virtual environment. For example, users embodying an avatar of a different race that helped in reducing the racial bias. Since avatar gender is often analyzed as a covariant, here we opted for investigating the effect of the avatar gender on the collaboration quality. Specifically, we investigate the effect of the partner's avatar gender on the collaboration quality in a gendered environment. Therefore, we have developed a male-dominant uh, environment, which is a virtual car workshop where users can uh, perform three tasks. So on the uh, leftmost side of the screen, the users can uh, replace uh, old batteries. In the middle, as you can see, they can uh, change the old tires. And at the right, they can change a car color by throwing um, a ball uh, at it. And uh, the uh, car garage or the workshop was designed in a way to promote collaboration uh, among the users. So for instance, as you see, we have one player uh, placed near uh, the shelf that contains uh, the new equipment like the batteries or uh, the tires. And we have another user that is placed near the button that actually uh, controls uh, the car and summons uh, new cars whenever uh, they are done with their task. And uh, to answer our research question, we have designed a within subject study with two conditions. The first condition we call C1, the matching condition. And this is uh, where the partner's avatar gender matched the real gender of the participant. However, in the second condition, C2, the avatar gender of the partner mismatched that of the participant. Uh, we had in total uh, 16 participants, uh, eight pairs, where uh, two pairs out of which were male-male pair, another two pairs were female-female uh, female pairs, and the rest, which were four pairs in total, were uh, male-female pairs. And we have ensured uh, that the participants didn't meet before the study, and uh, each participant was actually uh, in a separate room. Uh, the participants at the beginning reported uh, their own gender in an environment they felt uh, safe in, and uh, afterwards, they uh, performed five tasks in every condition C1 and C2. So they changed the car color twice, they uh, replaced the old tires twice, and they replaced uh, the battery only once. There was no uh, voice communication supported uh, in our game, so they communicated only via gestures. And after every round, uh, the participants answered uh, the uh, collaboration questionnaire, which was adopted from the team effectiveness uh, questionnaire. Afterwards, uh, we used the Wilcoxon uh, signed uh, rank test in order to analyze the results of the collaboration questionnaire. And we have reached uh, this uh, key point where the collaborations in the matching condition C1 were perceived as significantly more productive and supportive than those in the mismatching condition C2. And as follows, we conclude that the collaborations in the same virtual gender setting were more supportive and productive than those of the mixed virtual gender one. Since the participants uh, didn't meet before the study, the partner's gender uh, the partner's gender was perceived from that of the avatar uh, when the users interact within the virtual environment. This suggests that we can decouple the virtual gender from the real gender to elicit particular collaboration patterns. However, the ethical implications has to be investigated. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have any questions, please send us an email at uh, the email please below. Thank you.